Hello everybody, this is Ralph Chanel with International Soccer Network and this is FIFA 18 World Cup Edition. That's right, your favorite game's getting a coat of polish for the FIFA World Cup. It dropped today, May 29th on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Mobile devices will get this update on June 6th. Whether you want to build a dream international squad or play through the tournament with your favorite country, this World Cup update provides something for you. All 12 official stadiums from Russia will be available. As you see, we've chosen one today. You get the custom match graphics, the walkouts. You've got all of the licensed 32 teams that will be provided and playing in the tournament, as well as if you want to rewrite history with the United States, Italy, Chile, or the Netherlands, feel free to do that because let's not kid ourselves. We're all still crying a little bit on the inside. Each stadium will also be filled with the sights and sounds of the World Cup with authentic pitch environments, dressings, national team banners, and high-resolution crowds. If you see some of the screenshots in the game, it's really exciting because they've even got lighting at nighttime. The stadiums really thrive at nighttime. But you can revel in the epic tournament exactly how it will play out in real life. Choose from any of the 32 qualified nations and play through the authentic tournament structure from group stage to the final in Moscow. The custom FIFA World Cup tournament, as I mentioned before, if you would like to be Italy, the United States, the Netherlands, or Chile, you can make your FIFA World Cup dreams come alive in this mode. FIFA World Cup kickoff, which is the mode that we are showcasing here between England and Germany, allows you to play around with various squads, tinker with different lineups, and it doesn't count against your scores at all or anything, just for bragging rights. And then one of the more popular segments in FIFA, Ultimate Team is back. You can play FIFA's most popular mode in the new and exciting World Cup edition. All new icons, a chemistry system, the World Cup player pool, dynamic items, dog boat pack initiatives, and different game modes. You can play single player or an online tournament, single player or online draft, or you can take part in squad building challenges. This game really offers everything from the hardcore fan to the casual fan. The graphics packages are awesome. You're going to get just about anything you can expect from a FIFA 18 game. And it seems, too, that the commentary has changed, which is really cool. Martin Tyler uh, is back, and he is with Alan Smith. And both of them talk about and banter between each other about events that have happened in previous World Cups, what has led to this World Cup. I have not played with the United States yet to see if they've talked about the misery necessarily or the hope that the youngsters are providing, such as Tim Weah, Christian Pulisic, Josh Sargent. But as you can see, the match is underway, and it's fluid gameplay all around. It's, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel here. It is FIFA 18, so you are going to get some really crisp gameplay. As we see England coming out really strong here, getting an early shot on Neuer, and Neuer makes the save. He's excited. That's another great thing, too, that we notice is the crowd animations, player animations, seem to be just a little bit more amplified because if you look at the World Cup, the World Cup is an exciting time. You see a lot of players, they're playing for country. This is the top crowning achievement for a lot of players. You see, too, that they're shadowing Thomas Muller and Marcus Rashford of their respective teams, giving the fans something to watch. Another exciting save from Joe Hart there. But... They set up these brilliant storylines, and you see Yoki Liu there. And then England on an attack here with a questionable challenge by the Germany defender. And the referee has a decision to make. But you see you've got the mass confrontation between the two parties. The German players are trying to get their players separated. And then the ref shows the German player red as Jonas Hector is sent off in the 24th minute. And you see he's got an authentic reaction. He's pretty bummed out. If this was an actual game, he'd probably be really, really bummed to miss it. And then Joshua Kimmich with a foul in the penalty area. And Manuel Neuer has to make a save on Harry Kane. Let's see if he can do it. And Neuer does make the save on Harry Kane. So, you know, those testing movements play out really quickly. And if anything, the user can experience a fast pace game where you have to just kind of make really quick decisions all of a sudden they almost seem faster than your career mode or your ultimate team game every game possesses a certain element and you wait with bated breath of whether you're going to score or you're going to make that key tackle 
what the referee's decision's gonna make, gonna be. As we see Muller cutting in on his left foot and curling it in past Joe Hart to claim a 1-0 victory or a 1-0 advantage for Germany. And here's a brilliant cross as Muller picks up the assist and finds the substitute, Goretzka. And finally, we have the third German goal. Is that might have been Sané. I'm not entirely sure. Nope, it's Werner. So FIFA 2018 World Cup edition is out. My final thoughts, definitely, it's, it's free. Download it. It's fun. Get bragging rights with you and your buddies. Get together, play a little bit of FIFA, and enjoy the tournament. It's just a little under two weeks, guys. We're going to have some fun here down in Russia. And that's the final whistle on the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you stay with the International Soccer Network for all of your FIFA World Cup coverage. And uh, I think I'm going to root for Germany this year. Germany just won the right for me to cheer for. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.